all right ladies and gentlemen i'm back to where i found some stuff on video the hold coin if, if you keep up on my uploads um mississippian points the big broken paleo land um and there's a lot of let me get in my pocket here i got a point in my sifter what i do I park my bait usually and i just get my sifter and shovel and just walk up the bank in the water and just pick it little pockets of fire rock but you can see there this is what i've been finding and i've been here a while this is a place i look a lot and i look places till i just can't really find nothing and then i move on to someplace else and let this place resettle probably but you can see the flint real high quality flint ridge material that's just awesome and this piece is even translucent that's been heat treated you can see it's like almost like agate but it's from central ohio all of this is this is uh, i can't tell on that it might be this is flint ridge look at that pink um and the rest of this stuff's that's red jasper there's maybe black and all and you can see that's worked it's a little flake knife here's beautiful i call it christmas jasper it's red and green and there's points made out of it i found a couple on video but heat treated shirts and there's more of that christmas jasper is what i call it green and red it's beautiful stuff but i'm looking around and i'm thinking man with this material here even though i'm finding a little bit of if i can get a point made out of something like that it's going to be a week maker and i knew it was going to be probably table rocks or possibly pentagonal but they usually use heat treated materials or bird point people and i love those little bird points and i got a little pink one up in my sifter that's just beautiful and symmetrical and it's real tiny true bow and arrow point and they're extreme they're plentiful up and down the river but to get a whole one that's not damaged is i don't know maybe two out of ten are perfect and i got one folks i'll get back with in my next clip picking it up later all right and some more tips you know this place there's a high bank up here you know it's pretty high here straight up and down a place like this all of it's good if there's no gravel or other stuff thrown in here and it's just natural dirt that's coming out of that there's pockets of the stuff every everywhere all out along this log you want to look and as the water moves you want to walk it and look where the pockets are at and that's what i'm doing i pulled this barge rope out of here it was all tangled up in here and there's fire rock and stuff and this is where i was finding the flint ridge it's holding it in here um this tree root the stuff's getting pushed up and held in here in these roots see there's fire rock there and look at my screen broken up fire rock it's just been fired repeatedly so that means there was indians look here there's a piece of that jasper i'd like to find a point made out of that but I didn't even have this all screened down. I saw this up at the top. See if you can eyeball it real quick. Uh, man, it's a nice little Flint Ridge bird point. It's worth, it's what I'm looking for. High quality material, quality little symmetrical points, you know, that I can piece together what's coming out of the bank here and make a big display and maybe try to figure out some of the stuff, what was going on here. I'll keep coming back here and back here over the next several years and just trying to get as much of it as I can. But right here it is. Oh man, it's nice. It's real nicely worked. Let's see if we can't do a translucency show. Oh, it's a nice little point. I'm three hours by car away from the source of this stuff. So basically all of them are sharpened down. Every once in a while you'll get a real nice one. But look at this material. Flint Ridge, translucent from Central Ohio. A little beautiful flint ridge bird point it's a true bow and arrow point you can see how it's just completely sharpened down that's a nice one later folks all right i'll come over here and show you why i'm looking here there's like rocks laid in here flat and somebody it's a lot of it's concrete and stuff but you know it's been here for a long time before there used to be a house up there or something but just because that's here it's holding stuff in here you can see fire rock in the water like right in here in it and it's held that stuff in and that's where i found that bird point it's out in the water here it's holding the stuff in on the shore and these barge ropes and all this junk and all this trash even's holding it in when i pull it out and start sifting the thin layer behind it 
you can see here's all the campfire rock the big pieces do you see the point get another madison and it looks really nice get down a little closer see if you can eyeball it there folks it's right here it's a nice little tan madison oh it's all steamed up on that side it must have been laying on a piece there's iron in here yeah i'd say it has yeah that's pretty stained up it ain't rubbing off might just be the river mud but it might be iron too and that's an old little tiny neck there really doesn't detract from it look how nice the cross section is there well wow, that's a pretty nice one that's pretty nice so two points it's heating up now um, and I'm still saving the flakes I'll get back on my next one later man this is turning into a real good day I'm glad I decided to stop here and look in this spot this will make the third piece and this might arguably be the best piece yet sorry I just drank a cola real quick and I'm kind of belchy <laughs> um, but it's the same screen as the Mississippi and Madison that I found the tan one um, I didn't have it screened down and I'm just you know I was just getting this stuff out and see if you can see this it's real hard to say you've got to really look at your screens or you're gonna be throwing stuff back and you do not want that this is just a smoker it's an all and it looks like it's made of Coshocton Flint and I find them on these Mississippian and these bird point sites I think maybe they were using them to punch something and I think some of them were used to shell, to drill shell beads um, but it's right here and look at this oh man look at this folks and this is what they almost all look like this is not broke you can see right there's the platform where they struck it from and they just got a little flake and they made this little all look at this this is awesome oh this is nice oh my goodness folks this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for little tools and man this will look nice with that those Madison points look at that that's just man you could just snap that off with your fingers it's so delicate laying right in that sand layer you can see I got it right up in behind this concrete and look at that screen like I've talked about exploded fire rock I'm on a little Mississippian village site here or something or encampment this is what you got to do you know this is a lot better than just picking up an arrowhead you can't really argue with it get being thorough and getting everything here's a nice display of the flints these people were using like tools and projectiles we'll see what else I can get man this is turning into a fun day hope everybody's doing all right later look at this this is like a bigger boat going by look what it does to the shore That's why I had to come over here to hold my points in because I saw it going by and I knew it was going to be bad. You've got to deal with this too, but you can see there could be something laying here just after this, right where I was looking. But I'm going to look here a while more and then I'm going to go to another spot, try to find something different. Come back here again on video. Man, we laid a fix. about done my back's killing me I, but look at all this just high quality flint there's that green stuff you can see with the tan cortex it's real nice that's a core heat treated that's heat treated river cobble chert there there's flint ridge there's all kinds of tiny flakes of flint ridge and look at this piece that's out of something don't know what that maybe a knife or something but look at that material pink red orange and white and it's it'd be translucent i assume yeah the sun's kind of behind that tree but see 
just lots of stuff. I got this knife. I didn't show it. It's a nice flake tool. It's worked all the way around this head. It's some kind of black chert. And it's got transparent spots in it there where, see them? Where there's quartz crystals. See it there? That, that's a quartz crystal like in the flint. That's a nice flake tool. Um, got this triangle, this really cool like perforator all looking drill thing. It's awesome. It's delicate in the Flint Ridge bird. That is also, let me get it up here, also translucent. I don't know how much you can see of that. It's kind of getting overcast. You can see the winds blowing, a storm front's coming in, so I'm leaving before I just get hammered with a storm. I at least got some nice stuff today. I love that drill all thing. Later. All right, I stopped right in here and scraped a little bit. It's where I found some blades before, and I got another one. It's just an average piece. It's that green, like deep hunter green looking stuff. A little bit translucent around the edge there, but I didn't film it. I'm getting tired. I just stopped here is just for a second before I was going home. I'm going to go back. I was in West Virginia now. I'm going to go back across the river and go home. Later, folks. That's it. Peace. Getting into stuff. I had door beads on here. I had to surely take him down. He was climbing all over him, and oh man, this boy's a handful. I'll tell you this. Why don't you squirrel in? He sleeps all night, but during the day he gets he gets wild, doing flips on the ground and stuff, and just he tries to escape out the door every time you open it. And it's okay. He's okay in the house, but. He's hard to catch sometimes. He runs clear to the basement. <laughs> and it's, I'm on a third level of a house. I live in a pretty big house and he runs clear to the basement. It's like, I don't know, 25 to 30 steps probably. I have to go down to get him, maybe more than that. Seems like a pretty good run. And he just takes off full speed, don't you squirrel man? There's big windows in my basement, and he goes down and, like, gets in them and wants to look out. All right, my next clips will be arrowhead hunting, I assume. I might even go tonight, I don't know, but we'll see. But I'm going to go all day tomorrow and look around later.